So, hello, hello, my dear friends. Induction of electrical current. We will talk about electricity and magnetism, how they are just two parts of unifying concept of electromagnetism. We use it in various objects like in sonar, in motors, in microphones. We will go to lab and in this lab, you will observe the unity of electricity and magnetism through electromagnetic induction. We will also be reduced to Faraday's law. How is it? Throughout the third simulation here, we will see the application of Faraday's law, as you can see here. how the direction differs from one side to another. If I have more than one coil, where it will be, how it is applied. Again, the voltmeter is connected, field lines. I will move it, see how electricity is produced. As you can see, we will explain it thoroughly. So we will learn how to introduce current on the devices, on the charges, The objectives is to use Faraday's law to predict how a magnet can produce an electromotive force in a loop of wire. And then we will use Lenz's law to determine the direction of a current induced by a charging magnetic field. Then we will explain how changing the area of a wire loop within a magnetic field can induce a current in the loop. We will learn what is the definition of a magnetic flux. It's a measure of the amount of a magnetic field that is passing through a given area. The rule for it is a magnetic flux through an area is equal to the magnetic field perpendicular to the area times the area itself. Then we will learn about electromotive force which is a measure of the energy gained per unit of charge when energy is converted from uh, one form into electrical energy. Example to it is the water pump. Then we will learn about the induction, which is Faraday's law that states induced electromotive force is equal to negative the number of wire coil, coils uh, times the rate of change in a magnetic flux. Then motional e electromotive force, which is a uniform external magnetic field point away from you. The shaded region represents the change in area as bar moves. Then we will learn about wireless induction, which is a constantly changing external magnetic field from a, a solenoid uh, induced current in another uh, solenoid without touching. I hope you will understand the lesson as you have understood all the previous lessons. Wish you all the best.